everybody, Art Marie here and welcome to my channel. I'm feeling so good today, you guys. And so welcome to my channel. Um, as you can see from the thumbnail, we're going to be talking about my very first chemical pill, you guys. Um, it's been a little time after my actual chemical pill. So I actually did day by day journey of my chemical pill and I just wanted to go ahead and follow up with some of the questions that I know people may have, questions that I know I have had and I have experienced them firsthand. So I'm going to go ahead and answer those for you. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it, all that good jazz. Armory TV, let's get into this video. Hey y'all, so what's up, I'm Marie here, and I am going to be showing you guys my first chemical pill. And I'm gonna take some pictures for myself, but my esthetician took some pictures. I just got back from the gym, so um, I'm looking a little crazy right now. Yes, I have on a do-rag and it's velvet, okay? So right now, my skin, I didn't show you guys, of course, what it looked like right after I left the esthetician because I was in a rush and I had to get to the gym and I had to work and all kind of stuff. But as you can see, this is my skin. And he was like, you are the perfect candidate for a chemical pill. And he had two different types of chemical pills. So... Now, I was supposed to follow up. Like I said, I haven't started peeling or anything yet. He said I would peel within like the next two to three days. And he said I look like I would be a peeler. And my hands are clean. Just wash them. He said I look like I would be a peeler because when he was putting the chemical peel on my face, he said that I frost up. So, I'm supposed to use one of these packets in here. He said it's supposed to last me. So it says for all skin types. So I'm just gonna take a bit of this and wash my face. It's just like a clear gel. I rub my face. It feels regular. <laughs> okay. Slightly smooth, but Overall, feels regular. So now it's telling me to rinse my face with clear water. I mean, of course, clear, cool water, um, which you should do that anyway. All right, you guys, and now it's just saying to pat dry. So I'm patting the skin dry. All right, y'all, so now it's telling me to apply the post peel towelette, which is this guy right here. And there are different towelettes, so you have to make sure that you pretty much do this in order. And then it says after, it's like a yellowy color. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Oh, oh, this is strong. It's super strong. It says apply. Oh. It smells like acetone. Ooh. It says to apply gently. Ooh. Strong. It says to apply gently on all areas where you received your pill, which of course it was all over. Now it's saying after this dries, wait for like 10 minutes and then go ahead and apply post-treatment repair cream. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with the rest. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. And then he said one hour, well, he said, and of course the pamphlet said, one hour before you go to bed, repeat the steps. And I'll be doing this for the next two to three days, I suppose. And we'll see if in two to three days that I actually start to peel. Um, today's Friday. So I would suspect at least around Saturday or Sunday, I should start peeling. Um, if I don't peel, I'm gonna be worried. <laughs> okay, so I'm 
gonna come back you guys and this is day one all right y'all day two okay new day new hair <laughs> all right y'all so today is day two i have not started peeling it well i guess it's day i don't know it's, it's been 24 hours okay um my skin it feels a little tight when i move it but nothing like not real tight but you could just tell um something may be going on and i'm looking in the mirror you guys but you can kind of see like it's probably preparing to peel because it doesn't up close it doesn't look like it normally would so i'm really hoping like i peel like i feel like i'm not going to peel and he made a statement like if you don't peel that doesn't mean it doesn't work but i feel like if i don't peel it doesn't work like come on so i'm actually about to get dressed and before i got dressed um i'm going to dinner but i asked him if i could wear uh, makeup and he said yes because it's not a intense pill it's a light pill so i'm really hoping i mean going based off you know google and going based off what he said they said that i could go ahead and wear makeup and nothing should alter the process all right so it's day two still no pilling um yeah, we'll check back in tomorrow. Woo! What's up, y'all? Mmm. Day three, y'all. Day three. I am now peeling my body like a snake, ma. Okay? <laughs> I am peeling, y'all. The I Sorry, this song is in my head. But I am peeling, y'all. You can kind of see, like, that dead layer trying to come off so I'm peeling and it's getting worse by the minute and they say to not pick at it so I'm looking crazy I'm out in these streets um I had some clients but I had a mask on so I got lucky but tomorrow when this starts to peel I cannot be anywhere so but I'm really excited for my results nothing hurts it just feels awkward and weird of course um but yeah this is day three y'all so you can start to see this new layer of skin underneath i don't want to touch it and how brown this skin looks coming off you see that hmm? i'm really excited for my results especially this part i'm ready to see this part come off so day three all right mm. y'all so it is day four friday saturday sunday monday is day four and i'm definitely looking crazy okay um i started to peel a lot more around my chin area and stuff yesterday and um it was a lot like it started to hang so like i started to go in and kind of cut and i'm gonna do that again today because it's just kind of irritating when, you know, skin is hanging off your face. Um, it's starting to peel up here some. And my skin is looking very dry, as you can see. It's looking very dry. And um, here, um, it look, you can tell, like, okay, I'm like, I'm going to have some pretty skin, like, once all of this pills back i'm like okay it's gonna be nice but i would love to just like really get in and like scrub you know what i'm saying like my face feels dirty like i want to get in and like scrub my face but i need to wait of course i've been kind of washing around everything um it's starting to peel a little bit up in here and um i mean it doesn't hurt or anything when i pull like this <laughs> it kind of cracks up and it just feels like dry a little tight but nothing crazy i haven't had any itching on my face so um that's cool i haven't had you know nothing that's very irritating or nothing that you can't bear besides the fact that i just really can't scrub my face and um here yesterday and I don't believe he put acetone and stuff down here in this area, but I got really irritated. Um, so I think he put it, he did put it here. 
So I guess when I was in the shower and I was like scrubbing my neck, um, it just like really irritated my skin a little bit up in here. But you can see all uh, down here. And I am looking crazy. So yeah, day four and I'm just kind of hoping this speeds up because I feel like I'm peeling slow. Like I don't know how other people's process is, but I feel like I'm just peeling really slow. I'm like, by Thursday, I want this to be gone. I have stuff to do. Really by Wednesday, um, I have stuff to do. So I'm hoping like today, tomorrow, this will be off. But my forehead hasn't even started peeling yet or none of this area. So yeah, that's a little frustrating. Um, so yeah, day four. <laughs> like if I looked any crazier, bruh, y'all would have to come arrest me, literally what so you guys today is day i was like let me just pop open my camera it is a bit it's a bit messy up in here but i'm literally working so i have my work station set up in front of me but um i can't really do much because my face is looking a mess like just wipe my nose and skin is falling off um it's like the grossest thing so what is it day five friday saturday sunday monday today is tuesday and i took off my scarf because i was like look ma'am don't be giving these people the real deal y'all know y'all be at home looking crazy like i don't know why this is such a thing <laughs> okay but anyway so y'all um it's day five and this is my skin this is probably the absolute worst you guys have ever seen I should care probably a little bit more, <laughs> but I don't. So, um, this is what's going on, y'all. Like, I'm not even getting glammed or anything because there's nowhere to go for several reasons, but definitely because, like, you even see my shit on the floor? Sorry. <laughs> see my jacket? Um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go like this. You guys, so... <laughs> There are several reasons why I don't really care because I can't go anywhere because look at my skin. Damn. It's flaking all over, but for real, let's get to the point. So, as you guys can see, I'm starting to open up. Everything is starting to peel back some. And um, when it does like get too long and crazy, I might kind of peel it a little bit or cut it like I said yesterday. Um, because it's like really gross. To just have like skin hanging off your face you know what i'm saying you're walking around um i was able to go out the last two days prior because um, i had my mask on and it wasn't crazy up here but i knew like once i washed my face last night that it was about to get crazy so as you can see um as you can see this is the layer that I'm really anxious to see because it's all about to come off. And all up in here, see my forehead is broken up. And it's, you know, it's starting to crack and peek through. Eyebrows, everything. Nose, been peeling for days. Um, I'm just trying not to pull. Um, nothing itches or burns, so that's good. Um, and then all up in here, like, it's exciting because it feels smooth. Like, the first couple of days it was dry, but it's starting to feel smooth. And I'm really excited to see what my skin looks like uh, once this is all off. Like, I don't, I don't know. Because my breath first, y'all thought I wasn't going to peel. But, um, I'm really anxious to see how well this, you know, works on the dark marks. That's the whole reason why I got this. For these dark marks on my cheeks. So, uh, I'm really anxious to see how this turns out in a couple of days i cannot believe i look this bad on camera i'm like in this grand rising you guys so it's early in the morning and this is day six right right i'm starting to lose track of time because i'm literally just in the house so um let's see friday is the first day i got it done Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, today is Wednesday. Um, so this is what it's looking like. Um, last night I was really liking the way my skin was looking. It's looking all glowy up in here. 
you know um and then like this happened i'm sure i don't know if you guys can see it i hope you can but it looks like i'm starting to get some breakout on my chin you see that pimple there so that's pretty annoying and then um like some of this is starting to peel on this side and i'm just kind of like when the new skin is revealed i'm like mm, it's not looking that much lighter than the dark spots that i had but you can definitely see like the skin the difference in the skin how dark this kind of was and then like and i don't know if like the the acetone and the peel cause my skin to look darker when it flakes off i don't i don't know but you know everything is starting to look really fresh and stuff up in here this breakout on the chin though is like really irritating me so now i'm going to go ahead in the bathroom and wash my face what's up my beautiful people uh <laughs> so um oh my goodness laundry is churning i don't know if y'all can hear that <laughs> But um, I hope y'all call me a real one for this, okay? Because it's actually late. I had a long day and I wasn't able to film earlier. But I washed my face as usual. Um, post cream, SPF earlier. I want to be now. Not SPF, but post cream. And I am done peeling. And this is my skin. And. Um, I don't know, I'm not gonna make this very long. Says, of course, y'all wanna see this in natural light. I am in my bathroom, which has LEDs. But um, this is it, you guys. I'm done peeling, you know, I feel like, I don't even remember this side peeling. Like, honestly, I remember this side peeling because I remember washing off the skin. But I don't remember this side peeling, which is crazy because this is where I have the most problems. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap this whole video up and this is the last day y'all so no more pilling your girl is back to her regular extracurricular activities okay <laughs> all right y'all good night we are here you guys so i'm here answering these questions for you guys um i want to show you all what my skin um is looking like since my chemical peel as you can see here i do have a lot of bumps going on i actually just popped one um earlier unfortunately um, I have some breaking out going on over here. Now, I am going to get into the real. Real, real. I'm going to even talk a little bit about who actually did my chemical pill. No shady, shade, shade. Okay. But I'm going to give my honest opinion because that's what I do. All right. So, you guys, let's jump into the first question. I'm going to be looking down at my notepad because... I wrote down the questions that I wanted to make sure I answer for you guys. All right, so the first one, does it hurt? No, it does not. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about the process. So first, um, they're just going to go in. Well, I'm going to tell you the process, how it went for me. So they didn't clean my face or anything as far as like washing it, okay? First of all, they just went in. I lay down, asked me a few questions lay down i was like oh my god i'm bracing myself you know he was saying some people gets irritant or you know some people gets rash and all these other jazz but um he put a acetone on my face just with a cloth you know like a circle pad or something you might have used or you know um and rubbed it all along my skin um after that they applied the chemical peel Okay, that's it. Step one, step two. And that was pretty much it. Um, he said that I frosted, which was a good thing, which meant that I was going to peel. He explained to me that it's a possibility you may not peel. And he was saying like, just because you don't peel doesn't mean that it's not working. I don't know, but I was kind of frustrated in thinking, okay, I just spent all this money if I don't peel with this chemical peel. Honey, baby, I'm coming back, okay? <laughs> but I did end up peeling. Um, so no, it does not hurt, okay? The process itself does not hurt. Did the process of it actually peeling hurt? No, it does not hurt. It is a little, you know, irritating because you have, you know, your skin is just, you know, coming off. 
but the actual process does not hurt you may have some like itching you know i didn't suffer from too much itching um but you may have a little bit of itching in certain areas make sure not to actually you know pull you know scratch really hard okay second question how much was it so for me and i didn't know this until i sat down at the table which was something that was a little irritating for me um I mean, I could have asked prior, so I'm not going to blame it on anyone, but I feel like I had got, got a little bit because I'm, like, feeling pressured. But um, it was $300 for my pill. Now, I was told that um, there were other pills, but I went ahead with the one that was recommended for me. I came with my mind set up that I was going to get a pill. So, I wanted to get, you know, a pill that day. Um, I was offered the one for $300, and... It seemed like that's about average, but I don't know. Um, and then I was offered one for 500 and I was like, I'm not getting this one um, because I don't even know if this is going to work. But from what I can see online on Instagram, that it looks like the one for 500 is actually working for me. Not so much the one for 300 but we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, question number three. How long do you pill? So you guys, I actually chose to voice over this part. I was all over the place, you guys. You will actually pill 48 to 72 hours after you initially get your chemical pill. So you should pill about five days or six days after the initial day of the pill. Fourth question. Was it worth it? This is kind of like a part one and two. Was it worth it? For me, I'm not 100% sure it was worth it. Um, I feel like, and I have to do my research, but I feel like the pill that was offered for, for offered to me was not worth it. And I end up looking up the type of pill that was offered to me later, and the reviews weren't so hot, you know? And I was kind of, you know, a little frustrated, like, okay, well, this was recommended for me, but... I will say this now you know they give you a little pamphlets or whatever while you're there and they show like the progress of people and I'm looking like wow like that was the first like wow you know and everybody's different but I was like wow okay <sighs> and then I'm looking online at other clients and I'm like why was I not offered that pill that they got you know and I know everybody's skin is different but we didn't I didn't answer too many questions so I feel like, okay, well, my hyperpigmentation looking at them, you know, was worse. Why was I offered this? Honey, honey, <laughs> we're not going to get into it. But I will say that I haven't fully decided if it was worth it yet. I'm going to talk to other estheticians and see how much they're charging um, now that it's over and done with. And then I'm going to kind of compare and I'm going to actually look up the type of pills they offer before I lay on the table and just agree to having a pill. Um, do I see a difference? For me, I feel like not so much. When I first, when my skin was done peeling, it did feel like a little softer and rejuvenated and everything. But I'm like, okay, this is something that a facial could have done for me. And from what he was saying that he was like, no, honey, facials don't really, you know, um, do much until, you know, we've attacked the areas and then later you can do it to maintain. Okay, I understand. And just like, you know, it takes a while for your skin to develop this look. It's going to take a while for it to, you know, um, get, get better, right? But for me, when I'm looking online, I'm like, honey... <laughs> I would have spent $500 one time and got that pill if, you know what I'm saying? I knew that it would have done that for me instead of getting this three times, almost $1,000, and then I pretty much looked the same. Um, so that is a bit frustrating for me, if y'all get what I'm saying. So let's get into the last question. Um, would I do it again? Um, yes, I would do it again. With the same person? Probably not. Um... And I say that because a lot of times, and no shade, and I feel like this person is probably really good, but um, I don't know, probably just not the person for me. Um, when you go to people that's like celebrity 
estheticians, lash techs, um, makeup artists that are to the celebs. A lot of times on Instagram, and, and y'all can tell me if this has happened to y'all or if y'all feel like this is not accurate, but for me, I've been to celebrity lash checks, celebrity hairstylists, celebrity estheticians, and I feel like they put their best work online. And then when you get to them, you don't receive like the same type of service. I'm like, my lashes don't look like that. You know, my face, I mean, I wasn't recommended that. Or you didn't do a good of a job on my hair and I came to you. Cause yeah, I want to look like a celebrity. <laughs> or, you know, they do their friends or they put their best one or two work, you know, online. And then it's like, you're sold. But, you know, um... Sometimes you don't feel like you receive the same type of service, if that makes sense. Um, so anyway, yes, I would do it again. Um, because, you know, I really, really want to get rid of the hyperpigmentation that I have on my face. Um, it's like as I got, as I became an adult, it's like my skin has gotten worse. You know, I pop a bump and it leaves a mark. Um, I really hate it. Um, the next thing I'm going to try is Curology. So I'm going to post a video for that so you guys can see my journey with that. Um, they say your skin purges after a chemical pill and I reached out. It's been like a month since then and I mean I'm just having so many breakouts. I've had more breakouts now than I've had before I got the chemical pill. Um, so that's a bit frustrating. Um, but yeah you guys, you know not to keep blabbing my mouth. But um, that is everything as far as the questions that I can think of. If you guys have any more questions, definitely feel free to leave them in the description box below. I would love to answer them for you guys. Um, and yeah, all right. Until next time, you guys, I hope you like this video. Mm -hmm. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. All right. <laughs>